and welcome into my lightning talk, and I'll still be under two minutes, and I'll be really impressed. It's okay, so, I'm never good at starting the time. Okay, I appreciate that. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to the Innovation Lab, particularly those of you who have not been in here before. As Stacy noted, I think it's a space that looks nothing like anywhere else in government. So it's really, the, in my opinion, the best view of the city and government that you can get inside government, right? So. Uh, my name is Andrew Buss. I'm the Director of Innovation Management at the Office of Innovation and Technology. So a lot of words, strange title, so let me tell you what I think that means. Um, I think what our group is trying to do is create structure, process, circumstances, perhaps, so that innovation can flourish within municipal government. That's really what we're trying to do with our work right now. So I often refer to it as trying to create an infrastructure of innovation within government. And it's really capacity building, right? And everyone's talking about capacity building and no one really knows what it means and everyone's sick of hearing the term, but that is basically what it is. Trying to create an infrastructure of innovation in city government. So probably a lot of ways you could approach that. The way we've approached it is to do a lot of work internally around three particular aspects, people, place, and process. So on the people side, as Stacy noted, we've created an innovation academy. The idea is that we partnered with Philadelphia University to teach the principles of innovation to city employees. So we've had two cohort, cohorts of that go through the academy now. Why Philly U? Well, they had an interesting curriculum for their normal undergraduates. It's very cross-disciplinary, innovation-infused, and they adapted that to a municipal audience. So that's the people side of this. On the place side, while you're in it now, the idea was to create a space where city employees, as well as outside folks, could come from across departments, across disciplines, talk together, work together, work alone, whatever, and really sort of use the expertise of those of you outside government to help us with some of the challenges that we have inside government. So this space has been open for about uh, four months now, maybe a little longer than that. Uh, and part of the idea is that you develop stakeholders outside of government and bring them into the space and work with them. Have you lost control of the time? Yeah. yeah. No, okay. We're so, really good at all of this stuff. The third key in all of this is process. So. Well, your two minutes, Andrew. Okay. Uh, process manifests itself in the form of an innovation fund, which is a dedicated, albeit small, pot of city money to invest in projects around innovation. Generally things that would not get funded otherwise go through the innovation fund. So we have a cross-departmental working group that is really responsible for the process of sourcing ideas, refining ideas, uh, resourcing those ideas, implementing them, and then evaluating them. And that's the process we have around innovation at the moment. Uh, so I think of it as kind of a creative life cycle for ideas. Uh, that's basically the work we're doing now. Uh, I'm happy to talk more about it. And I have to come up with six words. And I think it's something like uh, invest in people for better government. So thank you very much.